Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. We're out here at the Avon Park Era Modelers Club. We're going to be doing the maiden voyage or the maiden flight on the Avios um, Albatross version 2. Um, the original Albatross by uh, Avios was the gray and yellow one. This is in the Coast Guard um, livery. And if you look at that white spot on the very nose there by the battery hatch, it's water based paint. And on the right here, <laughs> already scraped some paint off so I'll be getting my black paint out and fixing that boo-boo um, I do have reverse Brakes thrust <laughs> and, and enabled so that it can go backwards that's more of a feature for water um, my rates are 100% throws over 30% expo all the way around I'm running a uh, lemon RX gen 2 uh, 7 channel receiver and uh, she got the nav lights, the blinking light here. And uh, we're going to take off. Motor. motor off. Maiden flight. As you can see, this is not a small plane. But she's got more than enough power to take off on the belly. I left the rudder on because it was already installed. We have no real wind to speak of. I'm going to take off towards the east. And uh, yeah, let's just see what we shall see. Okay, right, left, up, down, right, left. I don't have any elevator to flap mix installed because I don't know what's going to be yet until I fly it. May not need any. So I'm not going to use any flaps for takeoff all right make sure my timer is doing what I want it to do okay here we go motor on oh man Talk about straight as an arrow. Maybe just, well, really no down trim at all. It doesn't need any trim at all. Man, this thing is like locked in right off the bat. It has no kind of gyro stabilization of any type. Maybe a little bit of down. A little bit of left elevator, but not much. All right, let me, uh, I know I'm probably awfully high. Take off flaps. Landing flaps. Just a little bit of ballooning. Timer Just a touch ballooning. of ballooning. Man. All right, let me get in front of the camera here. I'm going to circle back towards the highway again. Boy. This thing is sweet. Very sweet. I know John HC said make sure you keep the wings level. Man. Some red just came off. <laughs> but boy, that was a great flight. What just came off of it? Something up. red. Oh, just a piece of red decal. I'm sure it's from underneath somewhere. And let's motor. turn the motor off. Let me see if I can figure that one out. But. Well, somewhere. Don't know where. But, hey. All right. Take off flaps. I don't think we need takeoff flaps. Right, left, up, down. Let's try this again. Now 
Now she'll run in the unboxing video. I did say that she runs on 4S only. Well, that's not true. She runs on 3S also. I was just about that. Man, what a I'm playing. I can't wait to take this out to the lake. Now this is especially with that reverse. Let's see if I can't bring her back around. Okay. Landing flaps. You're definitely gonna be doing grass hops with this one, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't have much of a choice. So I mean I probably could land it on the Geotech. But I don't want to uh, scuff up the belly. Get her turned around here. And she, like I say, she's got more than enough power. All right, we're going to take off again. I'm going to go back towards the right. And then we're going to turn back around towards the left. All right, take her up, take her down. We're going to do a big old roll. There we go. All right, let's do a regular roll. Actually, that was a big loop, sorry. <laughs> but if I feel this comfortable with it to do maneuvers like that, wow. Oh, and that's, <laughs> and I had the landing flaps in to do all that. <laughs> Want to do a touch and go? Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, not bad at all. I got to tell you folks, now I understand why this model was so popular. Let's see if we can't bring it in here and land it right here at our feet. Oh man, what a nice model. All right, motor, motor off, flaps up. Still got a minute and 14 seconds. I don't want to put on the Geotech because I just don't want to um, scuff up that belly. We've flown for three minutes and 45 seconds. The motor's off. Let's check our battery and see where we're at. Okay, motor's off. I wouldn't touch it if it wasn't. Battery is... Wait a minute. Got the motor's off. Yeah, the mo motors are off. Uh, still got 63% left. So, definitely plenty of juice. Plenty of juice. All right, let's taxi her on beyond this section here. All right, now, anytime you're taking off like your belly, you can use your ailerons to kind of help level you out. And that's exactly what I'm going. I'm going to do my takeoff flaps. Can I use my ailerons to help level me out? Flaps up. And there we go. I'm going to do a nice stall turn. Not bad. Not bad at all. Landing flaps. Probably could use a small amount of rudder or a small amount of elevator. 
authority. I mean, elevator to flat mix in order to uh, maximize uh, the flaps. Yeah, now I definitely need, now if I was landing on water right now, the way I did, I would have had a serious, serious splash and a bounce, okay? Anytime you're gonna land on water, you want to try to extend how far you hover off the surface of that water as long as possible and then just kind of let the back end of that belly set down in there let that uh, keel step hit and then let her settle in don't be don't be in a big hurry uh, to set her down on water you want to skim and then slowly beat off that that uh, speed because if you hit too hard you're gonna have a serious bounce and then there's a great chance you might overcompensate now you're gonna have a wing tip and now you've got an upside down plane. So it's just better. Um, land this the same way you would land the FMS Pitts 1400 millimeter. Fly her just off the deck as long as possible, right before she's about to stall, and then let her set in. Easier said than done. All right, we're going to take off one more time, and then we're going to call it, call it quits. Man, am I impressed with this plane. And just so you know, I got her. They were run, running that uh, summer sale. Landing flaps. And uh, 60 off anything over 300. And she was 299. And uh, by the time they had tax and everything, I'm going to just go, I'm just going to land straight right here. There we go. Hopefully I'm not in the way of the camera. I hope not. Man, am I impressed with this plane. What a... And just so you know, I did calibrate the ESCs. And they do... They are fine. They start at the same time. One kind of ends. That may just be how tight the prop is. But they do start and stop at the same time as far as the motor goes. Um, man, I'm impressed. This, this is... I was a little leery. The Avios uh, Kingfisher twin, King twin, had a myriad of issues. Um, still a good flying plane, um, but had some issues. I had to replace the nose gear. You know, this obviously has some issues with paint, but uh, you know that's road rash. You, you pile planes in the back of your vehicle, and you're hitting bump. You know they're going to rub against each other. So part of the game. All right, we flew two seconds over our five minute timer. Motor off. Motor off. Let's see where we're at. Again, I'm running a 4000 HRB 4S in her. I didn't bring a 3S with me. I should have brought a 3S with me. Then I could have seen just how this bad boy does on 3S. If I can get this thing to read. That would be, oh, it's, that's right. It's got to be upside down. 50%. I flew for a hair over five minutes, and I got 50%. 3.86 and 8.5 down the board. To show you where I've got, the CG on this is 65 to 70 millimeters in, which if you look on the plane, you can see this air vent for the bottom of the motor or the uh, for access to the wires put your finger about that far in basically about two and a half inches in right about there you'll see a little fill mark about an inch behind that and that is where she cg is perfect at that's that's the factory 65 to 70 millimeters in folks i'm impressed you know y'all know me if i say it's a pile of crap and it's got problems I'll say it's a pile of crap and it's got problems. I didn't have the first one, so I have no point of reference. But this one, other than the paint, she went together like an E-Flight model. I had no problems whatsoever. The hubs just hand tighten on. Um, they're already keyed. I do suggest putting just a dab of Loctite on these. They count. They kind of rotate inwards. The uh, pontoons, spittoons, whatever you want to call it, they bolt in. It's 
a very simple build nothing fancy as far as the bill goes you do have to glue in the tail feathers to make them nice and secure there are two very long screws you need a very long screwdriver Phillips head going up that secures into the vertical stabilizer the horizontal stabilizer just glues in I suggest using like a foam tack or any you know rubberized cement that's, that's foam safe um, this part of the belly is all plastic this part of the belly is that foam that's got a sheen film over it the water rudder is clear and it, if you hit obstruction like I was hitting the grass it moves this is all plastic now this is part of the post build update um, all the, the I just had to do a little bit of, of sub trim to get the ailerons nice but y'all saw how she flew I'm impressed I, I really very little trim was needed and there's no wind today so I was able to get a good feel for uh, how she flies you do have to put the US Coast Guard's decal on here and on the top of the wing over here over here and uh, that's pretty much it I can't nothing else really stood out the build was pretty well straightforward now like all hobby cane products you have to download the instructions or have like an iPad or something and have it right there where you can follow along but you can pretty well look at and tell how this thing goes together nice clear canopy so if you FPV I don't know if that'd be enough but you can at least put a light or something in there maybe some little uh, pilots but I like this it looks good it flies good how they say it looks as good as it flies and these hatches come off here to uh, service your ESC's plastic nose cone on the front so you can stand it up in the corner for storage I don't know what else to say about it good plane I like it they run that sale until the middle end of July 23 you can take knock $60 off the price I would grab one they still have in the US warehouse so and free shipping anything over $99 until the end of this month and end of July free shipping anything over $100 for uh, the US only so jump on it now I don't get crap if you buy it and you know uh, because I said so I'm just telling you take advantage of it while you while they're on sale so y'all have a good one don't forget to like and subscribe God bless y'all and this is fat guy flies RC coming to you from the Avon Parker of modelers club God bless y'all bye bye